Bubble TV has access to extortion tapes linked to mafia Don Atik Ahmed who was killed last week in the tapes. He can be heard threatening a businessman and discussing land deals. Three men who shot and killed gangster turned politician Atik Ahmed and his brother should have made a big revelation as they said that they were inspired by jail gangster Lawrence Bishnoi following the murder of Punjabi rapper Sidhu Musewala and wanted to emulate him. Following the extortion tapes and big revelations that came out in the light regarding Atik threatening and discussing land deals, Atik's uh, apologist holds complete silence as the tapes serve as a blemish on their faces. Republic accesses exclusive details of Mafia Don Atik's funding module from Gujarat to Madhya Pradesh as a WhatsApp chat of Atik were leaked in the probe. UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath while addressing a gathering has said that there was a riot and they were common occurrence in UP but since 2017 he said that a single riot has happened in UP. This is con conducive to investment and business opportunities and the mafias and dons can no longer threaten entrepreneurs in the state. अब कोई पैसे और अपराधी और माफिया किसी उद्यमी को फोन से डरा धमका नहीं सकता है कोई भी डरा धमक सकता है उत्तर प्रदेश आज बेहतरीन कानून व्यवस्था की गारंटी आपको देता ही है लेकिन जो दो अन्य कलंक यूपी में थे कि जहां से यूपी में घुसो जहां से सड़कों में गड्ढे दिखाई दें समझ लो उत्तर प्रदेश की सीमा आ गई है after the UP police reiterated late Atik's wife wanted status, there are speculations of a surrender. A large contingent of UP police and crime branch personnel have been deployed in and around the Prayagraj district court. The police officials have cordoned off the entire campus and Atik Ahmed's lawyers are also being monitored. Police conducted a flag march on the outskirts of Prayagra, sending a message that no elements will be allowed to disturb the law and order in the state. The police were seen patrolling with arms in areas that are prone to violence following the killing of gangster Atik Ahmed. They also conducted a search operation in the village of Atik Ahmed's sister. Discussions to implement the Uniform Civil Code in the country underway as Union Law Minister Kiran Rijuju, the secretaries of the various departments and Solicitor General of India, Tushar Mehta, held a meeting today with Union Home Minister Amit Shah in Delhi on how to move ahead with implementation of the Uniform Civil Code in India. A five-judge constitutional bench of the apex court led by CGI De deputy, in fact, uh, CGI, the D.Y. Chandrachur and comprising of Justice S.K. Kaul, S. Ravindra Bhatt, among others, commenced a hearing on the bunch of pleas seeking legal recognition of same-sex marriage in India. During the hearing, the CGI stated that in the evolving consensus, the court is playing a role to create uh, the consensus and move towards an equal future. Apple CEO Tim Cook launched the first Apple store in Mumbai for the customers. The store is located at the Bandra Kurla complex. According to sources, the store will not just serve the customers to explore Apple products, but also help them know the products better in terms of functions and features. Apple CEO Tim Cook will be meeting PM Modi amidst launching Apple's first two retail stores in India. Sources suggest that Cook will also meet India's Deputy IT Minister Rajiv Chandra Shekhar. BJP National President J.P. Nadda arrived at Hubli in Polbound, Karnataka today. Nadda was welcomed by party leaders and workers at the airport. BJP's chief is on a two-day visit to the southern state a day after its senior leader and former CM, Jagadish Shatar, after being denied a ticket, joined the Congress party. BJP candidate from Hubli, Dharwar constituency, met Lingayat Sia, Man Maharaj Niranjan, Mahaswami Ji. The CIA has said that they support the BJP. Two times, all Lingayatas support uh, to the BJP party. So now also uh, our community, I think, uh, uh, will support Bajapa. So I hope this. Only. Karnataka current CM Bumai Yadirappa Sam Jagadish Shatar BS Yadirappa states that Jagadish Shatar is unnecessarily dragging the name of BS Santosh and is creating a controversy where 
Basavaraj Bumai hits out Ashatar for blaming BL Santosh. CM Bumai also states that the Lingayats are aware of the Congress double standards. BJP workers of Hubli Central held a protest against BJP High Command, demanding that a seat should be announced for Jagadish Shatar from the constituency. Karnataka Revenue Minister and Senior BJP Leader Arsh Shoka, who is contesting from the Kanakapura Assembly seat, has filed his nomination for the upcoming Assembly polls. He will be taken on the KPCC President and Congress Leader D.K. Shivakumar in Kanakapura. I will uh, request the people of uh, Kanakapura. You want uh, Modi Ashoka government in Kanakpura or Rahul Gandhi D. Kashmir government in Kanakpura. You saw the Kana Kanakpura many times, uh, D. Kashmir. One chance given to BJP. You saw the crowd today. They received me. Not even a 50 members uh, uh, welcomed any time in the BJP. This is the big uh, uh, welcome, just like a festival they are receiving. I think. Uh, Following our Ashoka's nomination, BJP Karnataka in charge Arun Singh today said that after our Ashoka filed his nomination, a huge cry, a crowd in fact gathered which shows the people of the Kanakapura Assembly seat in Bengaluru want him in the place of DK Shivakumar. Look, our Ashoka Ji, who has been in the beginning, has been in emergency, has been in jail, has been in the temple, 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 has been in the temple. Schedule for Prime Minister Modi to launch a campaign blitz in Karnataka after April 24, which is the last date for a withdrawal of candidature. The party is also finalizing dates for rallies that will be conducted by Union Home Minister Amit Shah and UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. PM Modi will hold over 20 rallies in the lead up to the May 10th Assembly elections. He will be joined by other star campaigners such as Union Home Minister Amit Shah and UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. D.K. Uh, Suresh speaks to the Republic and hints at contesting opposite R. Ashoka in, in Padmana Bhanagar. D.K. Suresh says that the party cadres wanted to contest from that constituency. And further adding to that, Suresh said that the decision will be taken by AICC President Kharge and Rahul Gandhi. I don't know what's going on in my party, but people of Padmana Nagar and uh, the leaders of the, uh, that area, they wanted to change a candidate. So they have requested me also, they have come to approach PCC president also. The decision has to be taken by the, our central high command, our AACC president, Mr. Rao, Mr. Malikajan Kargeji and uh, our leader Rahul Gandhi has to take a call on my contest. See, already we have so many options. Uh, people have requested me to, to contest in this election. NCP Sajid Pawar, who is Sharad Pawar's nephew, has dismissed claims of making changes in his Twitter profile amid speculations of him leaving the NCP and joining the BJP. Pawar asked if he should paste the NCP flag on his forehead so the people can believe that he is not leaving the Congress. He said that he's not going anywhere and will continue to be part of NVA. NCP leader Ajit Pawar lashed out at BJP spokesperson Sanjay Raut over speculations of him quitting the NCP to join hands with the ruling party. And the uh, NIA has uh, taken over the Kerala train fire tragedy case and started its probe, charging the highly radicalized, arrested, accused Sharuk Sefi. The move follows an order issued by the Counter-Terrorism and Counter-Radicalization Division under Ministry of Home Affairs. Foreign tourist was allegedly arrested in Rajasthan, Jodhpur, while she was strolling on the Blue Straits of City on Monday evening. The Korean blogger who was uh, shooting a video for self can be seen walking on the streets cheerfully. Meanwhile, a man donning a blue tee and black shorts started following her. Later, the video shows the young man harassing the girl by exposing his private parts. Swati Malewal, chief of the Delhi Commission for Women, also reacted to the incident on Twitter and condemned the act. She tweeted it was extremely disgusting and shameful. People like these are spoiling the image of a great country and she will be writing to ask Rajasthan CM Ashok Gehlot to take the strongest of action. Bihar police have launched a massive manhunt to arrest the prime accused in the attack on three government officials, including a woman inspector allegedly by goons of the sand mining mafia. And this is happening, in fact, in Patna district called Bhita. Uh, three officials, women, mining inspector, Amya Kumari, district mining officer, Kumar, Gaurav and mining inspector, Saeed Farheen were injured in the attack. Their condition was stated to be stable. 
BSFL sees gold worth rupees 36 lakhs being smuggled from the international border near Bangladesh. BSF released a statement saying that troops of the Dobila border outpost made the seizures and apprehended the smuggler in North 24 Parganas district. Highlighting the fight against COVID-19, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare Mansukh Mandavia has called for a collective endeavour to break the cycle of panic and fear, not neglect COVID readiness at the G20 Health Working Group meet. Highlighting the set vision of a waste is wealth, Union Minister Jitendra Singh says India is set to be a major contributor to the world's circular economy. He added that India has an unexplored amount of waste that can be converted into wealth. A report released by the U.S. Senate claimed that as Chinese researchers began developing two COVID vaccines in November 2019, way before the pandemic started, the report stated that the Beijing was involved in developing vaccines months before the deadly COVID-19 outbreak took over the world.